this place, we have spread the table before us. Emblems of grape juice and bread. Emblems that help us to be mindful of the body and the blood of our Lord. Emblems that we have been instructed to take in order that we might remember the body and the blood of Christ every Lord's Day. A time when our minds go back to the life that he lived, the road that he walked, the cross that he was nailed to, the blood that was poured out for your sins and for mine. It's a time to be grateful, and it's a time to be mindful of our own personal lives and whether or not we've been living up to the vows of commitment that we made to Him when we took Him as our Lord and Savior. This morning on my way driving to church, I was given a text message that had this quote on it. And the quote says this, Your intimacy with God determines the outcome of your entire life. It does. Your intimacy with God determines the outcome of your entire life. There's also that passage in the book of Psalms, in Psalms 34 and verse 8, and it says, Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. I want to challenge each one of us this morning as we meet around the Lord's table to consider our lives and I want us to examine our lives with the idea of how is our intimacy with God these days? Do we walk with him every day? Do we spend time in prayer and in study of His Word? And do we allow Him to speak to us through that? How's your intimacy with the Lord today? And this past week, and in the week ahead, will we be tasting of His goodness and trusting Him in the lives that we live? Right now, we're going to pray, and then we'll examine ourselves around this table. Father in heaven, thank you for seeing fit to provide us with this simple memorial every Lord's Day. As we meet around your table, as we meet in this place, to remember what you've done for us and also to examine our lives and the intimacy we share or maybe fail to share with you on a daily basis. Challenge us today and help us also to express our gratitude to you for what you've done. Bless the cup and the loaf as they're passed. In Jesus' name, amen.